I just get so like excited over the simple things. Hi guys and welcome back. First of all, sorry for not doing a video on Friday. A lot of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know I was down with the flu when I came back from Milan. I just got so sick on that plane coming home. I got on it fine, I got off it half dead. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now and thank you everyone on Instagram for your well wishes. It was, oh gosh, it was so nice just to see everyone's just, you know, get well soon, etc. And, you know, touch wood, you know, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm still drinking hot drinks because I don't want this to come back. So I thought I should do a video today just basically what have I really been loving at the moment? What is it that I've been loving wearing? What is it I've been loving in terms of my makeup? Anyway, so these are the things that I'm in loving at the moment. Should I start? You know what? I'm just going to do a couple of pieces of makeup just to get them out of the way. Um, there's actually more with makeup because I'm experimenting um, a lot more with different like foundations and concealers and just little bits here and there. So I'll be able to update you a bit more in a couple of other videos but at the moment there's two lipsticks and they're both by MAC and this is Patrick Starr's collaboration with MAC um, I went in looking to get another one of this which is Mare I think I may have mentioned Mare to you before because I found it very hard for me to find a good nude lipstick it's actually been years of me searching I really really love it it's just like a dusty pink because I think that every nude is not created equal depending on your shade of lip and mine whenever I wear like a nude lipstick it looks like I've got foundation on but this one called Mare is fantastic it just I don't need to put a lip liner with it I just put it on and go I'm not wearing it at the moment the one I'm wearing right now is by Patrick Starr's collaboration with MAC it's very similar but this one has a touch more I guess nude if you want to call it that and this to me is just perfect I'm actually wearing it at the moment it's just like a really kind of like a cross between a dusty pink and nude and I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do but these two are my go-to what I call when I just want to wear something on my mind. Another thing that I've been into is just gold jewellery. I have just been obsessed with it at the moment. Um, I've always worn gold jewellery, but I don't know. I just feel like now I'm really wearing it a lot more. Um, these you already know about because I mentioned them in, I think it was on like Spring Trends. I can't remember. There was a video that I talked about where I mentioned these mango earrings and these are them. They came, actually they came relatively quickly, which is surprising for mango. So good on you. And these ones are like a tube hoop to them. So they're a little bit thicker than the normal. And yeah, I recommended them to you lot and some of you bought them and I did as well. It's really, really light, even though they're quite sort of substantial hoop earrings. So I love these earrings so much and I just love just to wear them as I am now just very very casual and just puts like a pair of like medium sized but bold hooped earrings on just loving them and these as well which I got from I think I told you about these are a gift from my mum from like years ago and these are twisted versions and again I'll link to, I'm going to link to see if I see any similar ones to these below and it just goes to show you that Anything that's really classic can really stand the test of time. Also, I've been enjoying wearing a lot of pendants and different kind of like necklaces. This one is by Mazoma for the Lucy Williams collaboration. And I really have been enjoying wearing this as well. I've got a couple more pieces by them. And they're just very easy because you don't have to like think about it. I've really been liking wearing this as well. It's just got a very tiny um, star. There you go. You can just about see it. It's got a very tiny star in the center with a white stone and she does different stones you can pick the stone color you want based on your birthstone and yeah so I just think this is just fantastic it's just a bangle so it's open at the back slightly flexible so I can tighten it if I want to um, but it's barely there which is why I love it as well I also have a, like a wider cuff version of this a date cuff I believe it's called by L&M and again these are just things which I can just interchange depending on my mood but I don't know at the moment I'm just really liking like the whole gold jewelry it kind of reminds me of kind of like 90s throwback especially like the earrings it just feels very contemporary to wear something that is something that was already being like worn in the past 
Okay, so another thing that I've been really loving wearing are these. These no, I mean, these need no introduction, do they? <sighs> the canny boots. These flipping. Do you know what? I didn't realize how much I was going to love these boots until I started actually wearing them. So I have just been wearing the hell out of these and I just cannot put them down. They are so bang on happens to be right now with the Western trend that's going on for this spring or for the next season. But regardless, I am such a cowboy Western kind of girl, as you lot already know. So this is just such a great update for me. I'm not gonna go on too much about these except to say that the cut is what really drew me to them. I just think they just, everything about them is just spot on and I feel like I'm really starting to get my cost per wear down on them. It's just a good sign to know that I've just been reaching for them a lot and whenever there's anything I want to wear I put these on and like I've said before I'm going to put these on with all my dresses as well when the weather starts to warm up so really really excited. In fact this week in New York it's supposed to go up to like I think 58? Yeah 58! Maybe 60! So I definitely am going to try and like wear, rock these with dresses. So, oh, so excited about doing that. What is that? What is that? <laughs> also, my love affair with mustard and yellow shows no signs of waning. And that Topshop blazer, we already know everything about that. That is still one of my favorite blazers and I cannot wait to keep wearing it into the next season. And uh, also this as well, this is by Topshop. It's coming out really bright. It's actually a lot more like an orangey color. Um, it just beats having to always reach for a black polar neck, which is usually the typical. Even though I love a good polar, black polar neck, I always will. It's just been so good to just wear something that's like just really brighter. See what I mean? Like on your just like that, just on your face. And even with the gold jewelry, oh gosh, oh wait, hold on. And then, because I'm also still into this, my corduroy blazer. This, as you know, is part of a men's suit and I have been loving, still loving wearing corduroy. And what's interesting is I'm finding that corduroy is still in for spring. You're just seeing it done in lighter colors, in pastel treatments for, but in a corduroy material, which is what you would traditionally sort of associate with the fall. Layered with this under it, I've actually done it. I haven't actually posted wearing that, have I? No, I don't think I have, I need to. But I have worn out and about like the combination of this Topshop uh, yellow polar neck underneath this kind of burnt brown um, rusty colored corduroy blazer and that combination with the gold jewelry it's all really really warm and I just I just love all of that together so that's something that I've been rocking as well so these are just like little elements of things that I've just been loving to reach for you never guess what I've also been loving at the moment you lot probably don't really see too much of these because I usually wear them when I'm reading it is my Warburg Parker glasses, these, which actually need cleaning as we speak. I've always said, if I'm gonna like reading, like wearing reading glasses, I want them to kind of like be cool. I mean, if not, what's the point? So this is them on me. I think they're called the Aubrey's if I'm correct. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen for you so you can check them out. My librarian or that girl who's like fascinated with vintage and she just puts everything together and it's like a mishmash of things. And so I just like that kind of story, at least in my head, that these glasses kind of give to me. So yeah, I love wearing these glasses and they're just, oh, they're just, oh, they're so, so good. And they get compliments when I wear them as well. Obsessed with, but there's two types of shirts that I've really been reaching for and just looking for the most. One is the 70s style shirts which have the oversized collars and I will show you one that you've seen me wear in other videos before. And the other is just the continuation of men's shirts. Not men's style shirts, men's shirts specifically. You guys already know about this pink one that I found recently. It's by Polo for Ralph Lauren. <sighs> Look at that color. That pink, that pink, just, it's just such a perfect pink. In my opinion, my humble opinion, pink, a shade like this, suits so many skin tones. I got this for next to nothing in my local thrift shop. I highly recommend, if you haven't done it already, I'm sure you have, 
but just in case for those who are new to my channel, I go on a lot about menswear. I have been wearing the hell out of this. All oversized. Look at the size of the shirt. See, look at it. It's massive, isn't it? Anyway, I don't even care. Point is, it's large. I've done a styling video talking about wearing shirts like this, like menswear in general, and I'll link that for you below in case you just want some inspiration again on just androgynous style. I cannot get enough of this particular one because of the color, and it's made me actually want to go back to the store and see if I can get another pastel version to wear. Another one of the shirts, and like I said before, the large oversized collar, that kind of 70s look. Look at the size of this one. Let me show you, put my hand there. That is where the collar tip stops. So when I put this on, it basically goes all the way here. That's where it ends. I think it's just such a classic, I don't know, I just love that throwback look. If you don't want to know about my vintage shops, where I love to shop for vintage, again, I'll link it for you below. If you've not seen that video, it's a guide on where I shop for my vintage. These are the kind of shirts I'm reaching for at the moment and yeah, I'm just really, really loving them. It's just, oh, they're so, so good to wear. Okay, so I thought I should make myself comfortable for the next part of what I've really been reaching for a lot lately because, I mean, it's a bag. So I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna sit down and have a little chit chat with you. The Loewe puzzle. As you can see, I literally am speechless and I don't know how to articulate how much I've been wearing this bag. I took me to Milan and it was a great, great bag to have with me. And I really liked that I took the medium in it because it's funny because like I said before, I'm a small bag girl and it was perfect to, to go away with because I mostly wore it crossbody or on my shoulder, literally like this right and it was just it was just perfect i was like hands free gonna pull in my suitcase behind me if i didn't have this i would probably have traveled gosh i'd have to really think about it because i would have had two bags that's what i usually do um i would have probably worn like a smaller bag just to be crossbody but because it's small then i would have worn another bag that could carry my extra stuff now it's just the one which does it all. So it's just been a really good go-to bag for me. As you already know, I'll insert pictures and some footage of me wearing it before. But speaking of the Loewe bag, the puzzle bag, you remember when I did the review on it, I um, was telling you how I needed a wallet. I didn't buy this, no, scratch that. I did buy this wallet, Karen, but I've had it for a very long time. I've actually had it for about five years. It's just, I've fallen back in love with it. It's a leopard print wallet, card slots, card slots, just opens like a Constantina here. You already know how I feel about leopard print, so this was just like right at my alley. Look at that pattern on that leopard print, how good. I knew there was something else I wanted to tell you that I've been loving wearing right now. Hold on, hold on, hold your horses. Let me just pause this video so I can show you. I just get so like excited over the simple things these are so as soon as I saw them and put them on I went god they so remind me of like the Gucci vibe where they're like oversized square two TV screens with handles attached that's the kind of vibe I get with when I'm wearing these but I really really like these cheap as chips these are not designer items these two sunglasses I'm showing you but I am getting the most love out of wearing these particular glasses look at these these are definitely not for everyone absolutely love them so much look at that they're fun they're disposable at the same time but to me i just love the kind of vintage retro vibes that i get when i wear glasses like this and in that same vein with these ones these are a bit more wearable because these are just like tinted yellow glasses but the uh, frame and shape of them is slightly different there was ones from Topshop which are very similar and I know I've mentioned these glasses to you before but I just wanted to put them in for you again and just show you that these are glasses that I've been loving reaching for at the moment as well same reasons it's just something you can just bang on and you just feel like it's just kind of I don't know even like wearing this for example you, know, you just go out 
and just wear something like this and it just makes everything have a bit more of a, a retro vibe to it be a little bit more stylish without putting too much effort into it so again like i said i saw some ones which are really similar to these so i will link them for you below in case you want to have a go but you know it's just a very inexpensive way of just toe dipping as i've always said into trying like retro vibes if that is something that is you and speaks to your to your vibe and to your aesthetic but i think that is it i'm trying to remember was there anything else i always feel there is a one more thing that i have not mentioned but i can't think of what it could be right now i'm not even going to talk about the balenciaga shoes the knife mules which happen to be here by the way these I haven't worn these enough to justify saying to you that these are like the shoes that I'm wearing a lot right now because they're not. It just snowed in New York when I came back from Italy so I'm definitely not going to be wearing them but as it gets milder let's see how it is over the next few weeks and days to come but just had to put them in because I just freaking love them so much. Um, but that is it. I think that is my lot. It's just like a really small capsule of makeup which is those two lipstick items i'm really liking to me i just feel like i'm talking to my friends so i'm just literally like having a chin wag having a cup of tea and just sharing with you what i like at the moment just like you lot would say back to me if you were sitting opposite with me right here or sitting on the bed you'd be like so what have you been wearing or what have you been like what have you been buying recently karen and really liking what have you just been wearing a lot recently and this is what it would be if we were sitting opposite each other so with that said, and the fact that I'm feeling so much better and I'm over the flu, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that is it. I would love to hear also, what are you currently wearing a lot right now? Michael and I are babysitting at the moment. Our friends have gone overseas. They went to London, then they went to Nairobi. There she is, look. Hi, Ruby. Hi, hi, Ruby. We're babysitting this little ball of fluff for the next few weeks so I'm sure in the next couple of vlogs and so forth you're going to be seeing Ruby guest starring but anyway look at her in the background honestly she is something else she really is a character all right I'm going to go now I will see you guys on Friday and again thank you a lot for the well wishes on Instagram it was really really nice of you and it's, oh, I have the best I have the best global friends out there I don't say followers best global friends out there and that is you guys anyway i'm done i'm done i need another cup of tea and i will see you guys on friday <laughs> bye my loves so these are just like little elements of things that i've just been loving to reach for it comes at dinosaur move always i'm always judging always judging i'll never stop never stop never what other kind of trends that i'm really interested in interested i can't say that word interested in i always feel i always feel oh god I, i'm going to check out here and um check out here as if i'm in a supermarket that's really weird i just wanted to say thank you no god i missed one video and i forget how to do an outro Anyway, so I hope those ideas... No. No. I've forgotten how to do an outro. Michael, how do I do an outro? What do I say at the end of my videos? Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look at him. Say hi. Come. Let me see if I can pick you up. Come. Yeah, I know. I got you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. Oh, 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 oh. 
oh, say hello to who we're looking after. Oh my gosh, I can't even pick her up. Oh, I think she just weed, but she peed on me. Oh, <gasps> babysitting, babysitting, oh.